God's Green Earth is a place that you come to heal. We're in a world right now where healing is very necessary, um, but we feel like we have to go somewhere besides our kitchen or even just in our bedroom to be able to heal. And I believe that that kind of makes you feel defeated. And so when you come to God's Green Earth, you can do something about the things that you want to change within your life. So we have two, I guess, mottos. I don't even know the right word, right? Because I'm still not the perfect entrepreneur. But one is happy is the new healthy. And the other one is healing made simple. And I think anybody who's in a space who just is unhappy, let's have an assessment. Let's dissect that. And you can get that assessment on my website, godsgreenearthrx.com. Let's find the foundation of your unhappiness. The next thing is healing made simple. If you are taking a medication and you are not getting better, and which means to me not better means I'm taking this and then every time I go to the doctor, I'm taking, I'm getting prescribed more and more and more and more and I'm not feeling better. I think that's the, the basis, the root. If you are not feeling good and you are not feeling better, I don't believe that is anyone's purpose in life is to just suffer or to be in pain or to be in disease. If that is the space that you are in, that's why you should come to me. GodsGreenEarthRx.com What inspired the idea, I think, is the same thing for probably every entrepreneur, which is you're, you're fixing a problem. You have the answer to a problem. And in this particular case, I had two very close people to me, my mother and my mother's best friend, who um, was experiencing neuropathy, which is like pain and swelling and pins and needles. And sometimes you can't work, you can't sleep, um, and the medication wasn't working for them. Or they were just kind of tired of taking 30,000 pills a day. So I was fresh out of school and I said, you know, anti-inflammatory this and that and this and that and let's put those things together and let's make an herbal tea. Take it before you go to bed at night. And it worked. Not in pain, slept like babies, was able to work. And so I have audacious faith, to be honest with you. Um, I don't, I think that... I was never, I never experienced, I think, the traditional fear that most people would experience just because I really, really believe that if something was given to me, that I, I, I just believe it would work. It wouldn't be given to me unless it would be supported, right? So um, I didn't have those types of fears, but I did say, okay, packaging, right? So. A lot of, a lot of, I think, I guess if, if I had a fear, it would be, I don't know how to do this. You know, I think that's the biggest one. It's kind of like, you don't know how to do anything. You don't know how to do accounting. You don't know how to make labels. You, you don't know, you know, that it has to have a certain type of code on it, and you don't know. And the reality is, you just have to learn because you don't have any money, and you're broke. So unless you have some, like, wealthy, you know, uncle or some type of whatever, which I didn't. I literally just quit my job on a whim. I was like, nope, I feel this. Got to go. See you later. Go back to school. Mom, I'm staying with you. This is going to be awful, but I'm going to do this in a year, did it in a year, and it just kind of, the wheel just started turning. It went from, I have no idea what I'm doing, to let me find the people who know what they're doing, and let me just ask them, um, in addition to like general research, and just getting it wrong. So any great idea is worth doing wrong. If there's anything that I ever want to like throw out there, any great idea is worth doing wrong. You have to be able and be willing to do it wrong first. And then it manifests into something great. I wish I could show pictures of like my first tea jar looked awful as compared to now, which is an incredibly um, aesthetically pleasing brand. What do I wish I knew before I got started? I think wish I knew the support systems like I ended up meeting someone two years into my business who then led me to these places of like mentorship and um, classes and stuff like that. So that's why relationship is so important. But I wish somebody would have told me this a long time ago 
um, also still appreciating the journey because then I would have at least had a guide. And that's kind of how it always feels. It feels like I need a guide. I don't know what to do next. I don't know about taxes. You know, be because we're in this again entrepreneurial boom where it's super cool to you know work for yourself and like you know be in control of your own income I think there's a misconception that this will solve all of our problems like I now am not miserable at work so because I'm self-employed I'm not going to be miserable but that's really not how that works it does solve a, a big piece of like happiness and joy but there's still gonna be down moments that we have to work through and figure out and I think I, I think I wish someone would have said this is going to be great for you because you're operating in your purpose but still you know seek these things these types of resources or go on vacation or you know just kind of telling me like this is not your end all there's other things that are gonna come up for you that you need to make sure you're prepared for. What is it that I did to really create momentum? The answer is consistency. I have consistency tattooed on me as I have so many other um, tattoos on me, but the biggest thing is consistency. That's one thing that I think every customer appreciates. Doesn't matter how you are consistently doing something, the people will show up, period. To learn more about us, you can go to godsgreenearthrx.com and also catch me at The Juice Joint. You can go to Go Vegan Philly at Jansen's as well. Favorite thing for all of my clients, hibiscus rose tea. You gotta try it.